Hi everybody, I am Brandman19 and welcome to episode 45 of our Napoleon's Campaign playthrough in Napoleon Total War. We're starting Waterloo today. It is the Battle of Waterloo, the Battle of Waterloo on June of 18th, 1815, proved to be Napoleon's last action. The combined British, Hanoverian, Prussian, and Dutch-Belgian forces of the Soviet coalition decisively defeated Napoleon and his loyal generals, ending the emperor's rule forever and leading to his exile on the Atlantic uh, island of St. Helena. Let's do it. Be Emperor Napoleon as the attacker versus Duke of Wellington of England and Gebhard von Blücher as the defenders from, uh, and they're, they're Prussian, of course. So, yeah. A Russian winter. Only a widow's heart is colder. Soldiers died in the saddle. Their horses died beneath them. The Grand Army died. The vultures gathered. Our enemies formed the Sixth Coalition. The Six against Napoleon. Against one man. We fought. It was not enough. In April 1814, Napoleon renounced the throne. Time seemed to stop. Tiny Elba was to be his island empire. He stayed ten months. In spring 1815, Napoleon came home. He had no choice but to march on Paris. The worthless Bourbon king fled. Destiny awoke. Europe turned against us. Napoleon was an enemy and disturber of the tranquility of the world. War was forced on us. The Emperor made his plans. Go north, destroy the British and the Prussians separately before they could meet. It would work, it had to work. The British made their stands on the Brussels Road, Waterloo. French cannons and bayonets would carry the day. Then, it began to rain. Napoleon had wanted dry ground. He could not maneuver his artillery in the mud. On that June morning, Napoleon spoke to us. This day will decide the destiny of Europe. This day is everything. If we lose, we have nothing. Once again, the cannons would speak. All right, kind of see a little bit of our army here, but let's go ahead and start the battle. June 18th, 1815. This will be Wellington's final encounter with me. Having chosen his field of battle, the British will need to make use of their farmhouses. But Hougoumont, on my far left, will be mine by nightfall. In my center, Laissant, currently lies in the hands of the ill-equipped Allied Dutch. And on my extreme right, Papelotte. This is an excellent base from which to mount an attack on the British. Wellington's main army, however, occupies the northern part of the plains of Mont Saint Jean, laying in wait behind a sunken lane. This gives him a strategic advantage over me, and I will need to take some care when ordering an attack there. I have sent Grouchy to pursue the Prussians. He must hound them. But will he send word? Rushi, Rushi. He tries my patience. Okay, so we're pretty much given about, well, 38 minutes and 51 seconds to uh, win this uh, battle here. And this whole thing is just a battle. It's just one, this whole campaign portion is just this one battle. So if we do this, this would kind of be the last episode of the game. So I think we can do it. Um, as you can see, they've kind of lined themselves up and pretty much, everything's pretty much the same as like the normal Battle of Waterloo. There's a few men in here. There's uh, these guys sitting here, men sitting right here, and then there's like, these guys sitting here. Um, the thing is, these houses are pretty much. Uh, 
indestructible. I mean, it says they're at 0%, but any shot I do from artillery is just not going to kill it. And they're such a hardened position, I'd have to lose a ton of men to take them. Um, and then they're also, they're sitting up on these, you know, up on the hill. I mean, they are good units. They're sitting right up top. Um, as you can see, they have some good rank on them. I just don't think uh, my men could easily take, you know, even though I do have, you know, I have some good men. Not a lot, um, per se. Oh, no, they're all pretty good. Okay, well, maybe I have a better chance than I thought. Um, the big thing is, is that they do have some specialty units. Uh, they do have this Black Watch right here. And, of course, they do have the Duke of Wellington. And not to mention, before long, the Prussians will come out of here. So, uh, yeah. And they're not, of course, none of these guys are going to come to me. I have to go to them. I would love to come up this way, knock out the King's Legion of foot right here, and then take on uh, the Brunswick line while taking out this house while I'm at it. If I come up that way, then the Prussians are going to come at me, and then I'll just take down each little British group as I approach them. But I think the better move is to come over here and take the Prussians early. It just seems like it, it just seems like it's the way better move. They're going to pop out like right here. And once they come, I mean, that's it. So, uh I'm going to go ahead and pull all of my men. You know, just like so right here. Yep, they're all going to come right there. I'm actually going to pull all of my horse and all that too. Yep, right there. Artillery is going to stay. That's the only thing that will stay. Um, everybody else should be going. You need to be yeah, dismounting. You and you. I want you both firing at the Duke. If you miss, you hit these guys. If you miss to the left, you hit these guys. Miss to the right, you hit these guys, which is the Earl of Uxbridge. Destroying the Duke, though, is probably the best thing we can do right at the beginning. So, yeah. Gonna take that chance. Um, other than that, let's uh, let's go and get started. I want everybody through here to run. I want you pause. You're gonna be firing right there. Fire, fire. Fire. We're going to do the barrage as early if we can. We need to keep an eye here out over here. Oh, we need to be careful of that artillery getting too close to our men. They're firing their artillery elsewhere, so... Anything that misses, these, you know, misses the him. It's all good for us. Hitting the Duke early would be amazing. We've already killed three of them. I need you to hit this guy right here in the middle. And he has just enough of a lip here to where it almost doesn't hit him ever. Otherwise, I have really good artillery that could hit him. If I had howitzers, I'd hit him easily. The funny thing is, if I probably aimed at these Dutch flankers, I'd probably hit more of the uh, the Duke during doing that. Let's try that, actually. Yeah, any any overshot's gonna hit here, and you're more likely to overshot than you are to undershot. So. If you undershot, you just bounce into them. Okay, these men are all moved out. These guys are right where they need to be. 
They can start. Yeah, any these guys need to go ahead and start their resting up. I need them to rush to this point before long. Ooh, that killed a bunch of them right there, but still like you're seeing the bounce or you're seeing the just the overshot hitting here. These guys have been hit. They've lost nine. He hasn't lost any yet, but it's all right. Hit barrage two, two, and two. Yeah, barrage increases the rate of fire for a short time. This means we get more shots out for that minute. grab these five these five are gonna try to set up right here and these five are gonna set up well probably not directly behind them but enough And then I want these guys, I want these two to move forward. I'm going to prepare them. Yeah, they're fresh units. They're ready to go. He's still at 20. He's at 83. So the Dutch are almost done here in the middle. That's not their best unit if it, you know, I'd rather hit him with that, but going after the Duke. Return your shots here. Let's see if maybe we can do a little bit better. I don't see their men coming off of their perch. If they do, they, I mean, I, I'm going to turn the shots a little differently. Fire, fire, and one more. If I see these guys get ready to start marching, we're turning, you know, we're going to turn the shots uh, back on the men in you know, any way I can possibly get them. Here comes the Prussians. I'm starting to see them. Go ahead and run along, men. Get into diamond formation. Got to split that line there. I just need you to hold them up. I don't need you to do anything else but that. Looks like these guys might be coming down now. Okay. Will, get ready. Dang, they got right up on us. Rush to position. I need you there now. As quick as you can. I need you there. Yep, things out here did not go according to plan at all. Let's hit these Dutch Light Dragoons. If we can hit them. 
All the lifeguards, I don't care. Hit one of them. Got a few of them. Not very many. Turn your position to the Jaegers. Nope. Still the Dragoons. Getting those are the better mark for me. They did bring their cannon down by the look of it. That guy's almost in the position. Yep, there's a line running. No, keep shooting. Curasars are going to help out. Oh, there's Blo there's Blucher right there. We knock him out. They should all get ready to start running off. Yep, Blucher just died. Yep, there they are starting to run. They should all start running now. I don't see a reason for too many of them to stick around. Yep, he's running. Yep, pour the shots into him. Now's the time to kill him off. I think that's all of them, yep. There you go, right there. All these guys right here. We should be able to stand toe to toe with the Brits now. And we saved so many of our men, like that's the best part. We have a few groups that are like 50 something men, but I mean, overall, it could be much worse. Now I wish these guys would have stayed on the line though. Don't get me wrong, I really do wish that would have still happened. But it's okay. I want you guys to get in. Oh, I want you guys to get into position quickly so we can uh, utilize their utilize you getting you know getting fresh and waiting and holding the line too. Yeah, they're exhausted, exhausted. They're active, very tired, very tired, tired, winded, active, tired, and fresh. Okay. It's okay, we're starting to get into position. I think we'll get ready to go here. I need you to get into position. They're gonna come, the Dutch are coming right at you. Good thing they do seem to be the, the, the game did mention that these guys are probably the worst. Yep, he's exhausted, but he should now just be able to reload and fire. Yep, you're on the flank. You're in good shape. There's now light dragoons behind us, but I think we'll be okay. They still have a Wellington out there. That is unfortunate, though. Go ahead and fire. Yep, 
Yep, there goes those King's Legion. That's a good one to have knocked out. This is kind of a... It's not a good spot for them to attack us from, and it's not really a good spot for us to defend. It, it's just... It's a very neutral area. Just come on. We're, we'll, we might be able to hit them in some weird and funky places here. There's the uh, Duke right there. Yeah, I think we're going to win this easily now. Everything looks like it's going in my favor. We'll sit here and wait it out. Oh yeah, we're we're watch we're hitting them as they're running away. That's a good sign. Everything's gone significantly blue in our favor down here. There goes the Black Watch. That's probably one of the more difficult ones that they've got. They're using the Earl of Uxbridge to hit us now. Dang it, I meant I was trying to get into the square in time. Looks like it doesn't matter, the Earl's done. Fuel men come right here. We'll uh, hit the Nassau Jaegers, and then that'll be pretty much all that's in front of us. Oh, there's horse artillery in front of us. That is an easy fix. three should be able to get some hits on these Nassau Jaegers now. Oh yeah, they're falling quick. Nice job. That's a nice, easy portion right there gone. Set these guys up there. There's the Duke down there. We're going to go after him now. Oh, you idiot. You went right through the spikes. You know you can't do that. Looks like he's going to try to charge us in the last motion here. There's the Duke. He's gonna. They're gonna go through here and die, or not. But hey, we're gonna put ourselves in the square, and we're gonna see how the Duke likes it. Oh, that's the end of the battle. A the great victory. What man dare deny that this is a triumph of arms and matched in our people's history? All right, close victory. We win. We deployed 1,992. We lost 606 guys. But we killed 1,609. They deployed roughly together. They deployed like 2,700 or so. I mean, it was a good amount. Um, and they lost, yeah, six hundred, uh, yeah, 1,609. Man, they only killed like 250 each. That's incredible. Waterloo. By nightfall, the only English men on the field were dead, dying or captive. France was safe. The Emperor was triumphant. This was his greatest victory. I do not think France will see his like again. I pray that it is never necessary. Glory like that can only be survived once. Some men live and die in the shade of their olive trees. Some men change the world. C'est là mon vrai titre de gloire. Celui qui vivra éternellement. 
My true title of glory is that I will live forever. Wonderful quote. Well, guys, that's it for Napoleon's por uh, portion of the uh, Napoleon Total War. We played through his entire campaign. Unfortunately, the campaigns of the coalition uh, does not include anything having to do with uh, France. So we kind of played them in the only way we could play them. Uh, of course, it would make it would make sense for France to have uh, a campaign, the coalition, because well, they were never part of the coalition. So next time we come back, we're going to be going through the vote for the um, the community vote from the community page, and we'll go with whoever the, or you guys said to play next. I'll be honest at this point, I really do not know who that is. Um, so, anyways. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed the series. There will be more coming out, at least four more here, as well as a Peninsular campaign here later on. And, uh, yeah, guys, just I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know in those comments. Head over to Discord. We'll talk about it there as well. And uh, there's also more uh, polling possibilities that happen over there. So, all right, guys, appreciate you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.